good morning or whenever you are <laughs> this is elise gen c and today i'm gonna draw one of my characters something a little bit different because i tried love <laughs> and so i'm gonna tell you a little bit about that experience while i'm showing you uh, my drawing of her um i'm gonna speed up that video It'll be about five times the speed. And so, let's see what what the heck are we talking about here. So, as our lovely Momo O'Brien likes to say, a LARP is a game of adult make-believe. Um, I think, I like to think of it as long-form costumed improv. <laughs> and I think I like that sort of idea of it because those that contains the main reasons why I wanted to try LARP and so uh, live action role play really requires you to be in the moment um, and I get really stuck in my head a lot so having something where every single second is in every choice both by me and other players or instantly canon really forces me to get out of a regret mindset and just live in the moment. Also, it's a fabulous excuse to wear costumes. <laughs> yes. And so here is my character, Fahime. And she is in this world, Gardens of Destinies is the, the LARP that I went to. Um, it is kind of a mod podge of different genres so each player really gets to choose what kind of of character genre that they want and I picked the one that was the closest to a Tolkien-esque uh, vibe as possible and these creatures or people are called Orbin uh, which are kind of like elves as far as well the, the pointy ears go <laughs> but also um, there's this duality between Poma and Yaksa. The Yaksa are much more nature-based, and that's the character type that I chose. And um, I also chose to be a healer. A uh, little spoiler alert in this game, I don't know about others, but being a healer is pretty difficult. So let's talk about how that went. <laughs> So I really wanted to be a healer so that I was really reliant on what other people were trying to accomplish so that I was staying involved. And as far as the role play goes, I think that was the perfect idea for me, just in my own personality. Um, I like to assist other people in accomplishing their goals. So it, it fit perfectly with just me being able to stay in character uh, while doing a very new experience, which this definitely was. <laughs> um, but as far as the mechanics go, I had to understand what other people were experiencing, were being threatened by, and be able to respond to that, you know, like an actual healer. <laughs> and that was a little difficult. There were mechanics that made it easier, like anyone with just a basic level in healing uh, can ask another player like what condition they have so like if they're critical uh, in this game that meant that uh, if they weren't uh, stabilized in five minutes then they would go into a dying status which means if and if they're in dying for five more minutes then they're dead <laughs> so things like that like um knowing what the different statuses mean was really important um uh but what really got me was the math and once again our girl momo o'brien who i will refer to quite frequently because i don't know a lot of larpers other than the ones that i have just met <laughs> but um she says that there's a lot of larps that aren't very um math involving this one was not one of those uh definitely had to remember some numbers and so in that regard it was a bit difficult uh, but if you know some larps that don't involve a lot of math 
let me know in the comments below. <laughs> but here's my final section. What did I learn? So one, connect with the people, the other players before the game. That was the best thing that I did. <laughs> it got me involved in the story and uh, able to fit in to the group or feel like I fit in right away. So crucial. Also, if there are physical reps that you can bring along for your character, do so. The more things, the better. I think I'm, I'm gonna need some more things just to represent my magic and things like that more next time. And lastly, go all out. Every second of this is canon. Your choices, other players' choices, all of them matter and none of them are mistakes. And so with both your victories and your failures, have fun. If you guys wanna see any more of my draw videos, here's a playlist. Also, I'm going to be doing some costume videos soon, so subscribe so you don't miss out on those. And friends and friends-to-be, thanks for watching. Have a good one. See you next time. Bye-bye.